Black Pearl, the all scenario version, additional skills on how to age some of the items that uh, I'm using on this kit. The Angel is quite special and I've really aged her well. There's more in this video than just that, but uh, that's a highlight that you'll want to watch. So let me show you how I got to this point and how I aged those items and a real breakthrough that I had on lighting the back lanterns. I need to back up just a little bit to part 11 and I had mentioned this framework in that but I never gave the end of the story. I had difficulty in getting this positioned like I wanted it to be so I ended up just gluing it to the upper uh, deck that's right above it. It was going to glue to it anyway so it doesn't show. You, it'd be difficult to see unless you look from underneath up into the ship. But that's how I dealt with that. Then what I'm working on now is this piece of work. And what I've not yet found anywhere in the instructions is what this is. You can see it's on one of the masts and it shows it being assembled but that's not how it is positioned at all so don't don't misunderstand this page of the instructions only because of my prior experience with building this ship this goes as a support of the mizzen mast that's the furthest one back and is within the captain's quarters so instead of using the actual mast which it was kind of hard to work with I took the same size dowel and put it in my vise, cut it, you know, just to two inches long or so. And the hint that I will give to put this together to make it work is on this part, which it'll end up sitting on the, the deck like this. I glued the support to that larger piece and I did that because it does not touch the dowel rod. If you glue this part, it's right up against the edge of the dowel and you'll get connected or glued to that dowel that you're using and run into trouble, if that makes any sense. So what I recommend is putting this lower piece on the dowel, gluing this using the dowel as a guide to hold it vertical, then come back after those have all dried and I use super glue to hold them in place, then come back and gently lay this on top. But I was able to raise the uh, this platform so that the super glue did not stick. So I could line it up and then raise it up, set it off to the side, and let it dry. The next step will be attaching it to this. And the instructions also say this piece needs to be beveled at a slight angle, and that's because the deck is not level. It has a slight bow to it. There's no way to really know what that angle is, so I'm just going to uh, sand the bottom of that just a little bit at an angle. So that's basically how that this is going to go. I've got this all glued together. This will go on the captain's quarters and then the mizzen mast or the rear mast will come from the upper level and go down and rest on the floor and this is just a lower support for that mast. This is a pretty good view of where that uh, support or table support uh, I don't know what you'd really call it, but it's the, the mizzen or rear mast support. That will need glued to the uh, deck there. And this deck is does have a, a slant to it going downward, and that may affect the position of that mast. But that gives you an idea where it goes, what it'll look like. I do think this will need glued down, but the mast itself, I, I tend to think they should not be glued in place and if at all until all the rigging is done. While on the subject of masts 
this is a good time to start looking at the schematics or the blueprints, whatever you want to call it, that come with the ship. There's several. And uh, this gives you some detail. This is the mizzen mast that I was talking about. And um, they are identified. The masts are all identified with the letter Q. So this is Q4. And you can search out through the instruction book and uh, find out what size those are. This drawing supposedly is one to one, so I should be able to get a good idea of the measurements or length of these masts because you can see there's a dotted line that shows where it bottoms out and to the top. There are several parts that make up the capstan, which is at the base of the main mast. And the tricky part of it is connecting these little these little braces uh, to two like washer devices. So let me try and show that to you. So the parts are H17 through 24, and the two tricky ones are I think it was 23 and 24. And you can attach one and you can see these little markings and that's where these little braces go. I took my time and was able to glue all these little supports to that upper ring or washer. They're not really attached at the bottom yet, they're just resting on the bottom one. And this was pre-assembled so now this was the reason I had to put that together to start with. So now what I can do is put a little adhesive on the tops of those, push this down, and then I don't want it to stick to this mast. I'm switching to the Gorilla Glue because it gives me a little more time to work before it sets up. And there's these little marks that they're supposed to line up to, but I was not real successful in getting them lined up. I'll still try, but... So now I've set this piece on the dowel, which is the main mast. I did sand this a little bit so it'll slide a little bit easier. And... I'm just cautiously going to try and attach this with some super glue just around the outside edge and then after I get it temporarily connected I'll take it off and I'll do a little better glue job. Because I'm having to build the supports and the system to hold the lanterns that go on the back of the ship I'm going to have to go ahead and prepare these. This is a flickering LED. If you've not seen them before, you'll see it when I turn it on. I put an insulator on there because I'm going to run it through that hole. I did have to drill the hole just a little bit larger because you can't have those two wires touching and they're not insulated. And then I'm going to do something different than I've done before. Some of you may have seen on my earlier build of the Black Pearl Golden version, I uh, leafed this in gold and it does look very nice and I think it goes well with the the pirate theme but on the version I'm doing now I'm going to go with an aged look and here's an example of a ship that I built and this dolphin was wooden I did copper leaf on it and then I aged it by using uh, salt water salt and ammonia. I'll show you how I'm going to do that on these lanterns. I'm also going to do it on all of the statues including the front of the ship and the figurehead at the front of the ship. I've already applied the adhesive. You let it dry. It says till it's clear or up to an hour. It's probably only been about 15 minutes. Got plenty of copper leaf it's quite a bit less expensive than the gold. Okay, 
Here they are after the copper. The bottom part won't show, that is recessed. And now I need to age the copper with my sea salt and ammonia magic mix. I've taken some just uh, sea salt fine crystals, gourmet Mediterranean sea salt, and I put it in a little bit of water, probably, I don't know, tablespoon, pretty, pretty th uh, heavy dose. Then I misted the, the lanterns with that salt water, let it dry, misted it again. And I'm going to set it up on a little platform inside this container. I will seal it. And this is just household ammonia. Now, be careful with ammonia because it's uh, not something to mess with. But I'm just going to pour some in this container. And now I'm going to seal it. And I'm going to let that just sit overnight and see how it turns out. I've also uh, put ammonia in a spray bottle before. I think when I did the dolphins, I ended up misting it with uh, ammonia. But we're just going to leave it overnight and see what happens. Here we are, eight hours later, approximately. Take the lid off. Very happy with that. It's kind of a uh, bluish green. Definitely looks weathered. I will rinse these off to stop the oxidation process. Get the, the tops in there and I uh, think I'm good to go. Probably my recommendation would be to not leave these overnight. I just tried it. I can mess with this and uh, you know take some paint and darken it a little bit. Uh, but overall it worked very well so what I'm planning on doing is the rest of these items especially the tops of the lanterns have my first series uh, copper leafed and I've coined the perfect phrase for this the imperfection is the perfection but let me get this in my ammonia container and we'll watch it change color it's been about two and a half hours and you can probably see that the copper is darkening and there's a few places where it's uh, starting to get that patina color. Here they are finished and uh, I'm happy with how they turned out and like I said earlier the perfection is in the imperfection. So you can see how those got the patina pretty well and the lanterns turned out good. Each one of these is a little different. Let me take the top off can see that. This one has a little more copper look to it. So I'll probably put it in the center. Then these two that are similar I'll put on the two outside lanterns. I think it's best if you mist it with salt water, let it dry, mist it again with salt water, let it dry, and then put it in the solution. Here's the angel for the front of the ship. And obviously you can tell the copper look is gone. It looks very old. I did take a uh, kind of a stiff uh, paintbrush and just in a few places uh, brushed it out a little bit. That's exactly the look that I wanted. It has that aged copper. And if you've seen the statue on the front of the Black Pearl in the movie, she is also quite aged. I may do a little work on, on her face. There's just a little spot on her nose. I don't think I want that on there. Uh, so I can do some uh, touch up. But there is the finished product. Not for everyone and I considered doing the gold like I did on my other version of the Black Pearl, the Golden Edition. But this one, I wanted to go with that aged look, and I think it will go very well with uh, the lanterns on the rest of the ship. Now, I will still do some things in gold. There's a lot of uh, brass parts that, I, that I'm probably going to gold leaf, but not when it comes to these exterior parts. It'll just be some of the appointments. I've got a lot of things going on 
that I think I need to put into place before I can proceed. One of them is preparing the, the large lanterns, flame lanterns that go on the back of the ship. I made this little base myself and I may have already mentioned that earlier. And I'm starting to put them on the ship. It's going to work out pretty well realizing that this piece has to mount back here on both sides so I can tell that's going to work. A minor issue that I discovered is that my flickering lights have kind of a brightness to them that doesn't look natural. The kit comes with this material but it, it's still too um, see-through that I can see the filament in the light and that's not what I want. So I've been experimenting and several things will work. A piece of regular white copy paper would work but this is a little piece of tissue that the copper leaf is wrapped in and it does an excellent job. I don't know if I can get it pushed down in there one-handed. Regardless, you can see how it eliminates the, the light bulb being seen and it just has the flicker. And it even flickers up through this. Now, obviously it won't be that tall. I've gone ahead and put the, uh, the top on the, the lantern and that's the look that I want. So I like the tissue paper. And I may play with it a little bit more because you could do folds in it and it would make it more uh, uneven light. But I like how that looks. I like how it flickers. And actually that tissue paper is just sitting in there. But see how it gives it a nice glow? And it was just the tissue that is between the, uh, the copper sheets. And I just noticed it had a unique texture to it. It's uh, kind of a mottled color. So it's not a, a solid. You can see it's semi-transparent. Very happy with that. So that'll do it for part 12 of my building the Black Pearl. And I'm making progress. I still have a long ways to go. I'm happy on how it's coming along and some of the breakthroughs that I've had, especially on the aging of these copper uh, parts and pieces. So join me for part 13 coming soon. However, I am going to take a little vacation, so I'll be back in a couple weeks. As always, thanks for watching.